operations, followed by 20 centimeters of snow. Here at home, we're facing one hell of a storm front. Early this morning, at the port of Phoenix, 21 workers were found dead in the cargo container ship. The ship had initiated other docking procedures, and emergency personnel on site reported as finding no survivors aboard. It's Rook 25. Will you open the door? Dead. Nothing further, including cause of death and origin of the well, vessel. Well, I'm coming in anyway. You better be dressed. And that's the latest from here nice. in London. I'm Malcolm Todd. Much better. Not so sorry to wake you, Bishop. We thought you should know about our little escort. Well, we are somewhere over Bulgaria. You are in the same place you were before you, uh, fell asleep. Any more odd questions, or can we get to work? Excellent. So, let's get you suited up and ready to kick some homeless arse. Here are your basic consortium tools. You got your PCU, BUS and assault helmet, all specifically tailored to fit you nice and snug. Hey, no problem. Now. Pawn 7 and I have some CCU maintenance to take care of in the lower crawl. Feel free to wander the ship and meet your new crew, or maybe hit up the virtual trainer and complete your bishop training scenario. The VT is at the end of the hall, next to the elevator. Oh, and don't forget to go and get your CMC from the K. You can find her in mission operations, at the end of the hall, to your right. Six, welcome to mission operations. First things first, here is your consortium mind communicator. Please, just call it a CMC. Hearing consortium mind communicator over and over just gives me a headache. Consortium officers only need to think what we'd like to say to each other, and the CMC will do the rest. Loud and clear. It'll take some time for you to get used to the feeling, but you'll get it. Let him sweat it out. Maybe he'll lose interest and go away. Angelov has done this plenty of times before. Once we clear Bulgarian airspace, he'll scamper off to whatever cave he crawled out of. He can be amusing at times. Mostly, though, he's a pig. I like your enthusiasm. I really do. But the last thing we want, however, is for this to turn violent. I'm becoming rather tired of forcibly having to hurt Angelov's men. Only a month ago, we came across Kirill and his men, exactly as now. Angelov and Bishop H, your predecessor, got into a fairly violent spitting match. Against my orders, H took control of manual weapons and shot down two of Angelov's men. A week later, he retired. And this is the first time we've seen Angelov since. That man is crazier than a shithouse rat. He was definitely a little rough around the edges, but he always got the job done. Revenge? It would take another 200 of those F-35s to even scratch us. They're a level 2 threat, which means the King is well aware of what Angelov is capable of. Okay, Six, before you move on to something else, I wanted you to officially meet Rook-9, Captain of Zenlil. Good day, B. Glad to have you here with us. And the name is actually Wade. Uh, just stick to Wade. Lay off the Rook-9 nonsense, eh? Once the boss deals with our friend Angelov here, come and see me in the cockpit. I got some extra rare scotch I've been itching to share with someone. Were they gone? Uh, I really miss having someone to drink with. Wade! Wade! Just stop right there, please. He's only kidding, Six. Or at least he better be. So hey, all kidding aside, give me just a few minutes to finish up this diagnostic, and then I'd like to get a look at you in person. For now, I want you to walk around a little and meet your new crew. Most of them are eager to meet you.
That is the holographic situation room. It's where you can watch Dirty Hollow Vids when you're bored and feeling uh, lonely. Whoa, whoa, I am listening to this, you know. Oh, hey, boss. Uh, I was just telling the bishop about the uh, Dirty Hollow Vids. <laughs> All jokes aside, the Hollow Situation Room is actually for mission briefings and debriefings, usually led by the king or the queen. I was getting to that part, I swear I was. Welcome to the introductory Consortium Bishop training scenario. I'm Rook25, and I'll be your guide for today. Your personal containment unit can store matter in energy form, and has built-in healing and repairing functions. It is also capable of transforming small, solid matter objects directly into utility energy. You see the floating pieces of junk around the platform? convert them directly into utility energy. That mean looking robot is about to shoot you. That looked like it hurt. Use utility energy to power your medical nanites. Either select the numbered slot on your HUD to auto heal your injuries over time, or select individual organs to heal from your inventory. suit and assault helmet represent your basic combat protection gear. If you want to fix damage gear, 
To auto repair your armor over time, or select individual armor pieces to repair from your inventory. The Consortium Assault Rifle, or SEER, is your best non-lethal combat solution. projects a multi-target sonic pulse that can knock down nearly any unshielded enemy. I'll make sure the king commends you for this. Sure. Of course. Great. Hooray for Sandwell and her amazing Luck behind you. Great. Of course. Follow you. Sure. Bishop. Luck behind you. After bringing your enemies down, get up close and stick them with nanites to incapacitate them indefinitely. Notice that you can inject multiple targets simultaneously. 